in an exclusive interview with Express.co.uk. Outlander and House of the Dragon star Graham McTavish addressed whether he'd be interested in starring in Yellowstone. Well, which character will he star? And what are the impacts on the plot of the movie? Whether he will be starred in Yellowstone or not, we will have to wait and find out. Stay tuned as we dive into more specifics of the topic. To begin, let's look at an overview of which films Graham is featured in. Graham McTavish, 61, is a Scottish actor who has been in everything from Star's popular series Outlander to AMC's crazy comic book comedy Preacher to adult animated Netflix series Castlevania. He now appears as the Lord Commander of the Kingsguard, Sir Harold Westerling, in the Game of Thrones prequel series House of the Dragon. McTavish has appeared in various fantasy films, including The Witcher, Lucifer, and The Hobbit. McTavish will next be seen in the drama Somewhere in Montana, where he will trade a sword for his Stetson as a salt of the earth rancher John Alexander. Alexander is forced to sell his soul to avoid financial collapse by allowing a film crew to film a Hollywood movie on his farm. McTavish shot the independent film in June, saying he was very excited about the project and calling it extremely essential. He said Somewhere in Montana talks about many of the challenges we're dealing with right now, which are people not talking to each other, not listening to each other, not being able to respect each other despite their differences, and not being able to speak those disagreements safely, the actor explained. So it's an intriguing film. It's modern day, so I get to wear a cowboy hat and be very, very cowboy, he continued. Moving on, more specifics on the subject. Somewhere in Montana sounds like the highly successful Paramount series Yellowstone, starring Kevin Costner and Kelly Riley, about a family striving to protect their territory from outsiders by any means imaginable. Would McTavish be interested in appearing on the show? I adore Yellowstone. I hope so, he adds. There is no set timetable for the release of season two. Still, fans want it to happen sooner rather than later, mainly because Outlander also dies. And the show's dreaded off-season known as Drylander are attempt we had a fantastic time, he remarked. I had several near-death experiences and he continued to harass me while filming it. It's a particularly terrible experience for men in kilts. But seriously, we got a lot of chuckles. We have a lot of laughs and especially when we're in that vehicle together, we go on the most fantastic tangents. And it's lovely to do, he continued. It was beautiful to do so in New Zealand. Following that, when will the fifth season of Yellowstone be available? The much-anticipated release date for Yellowstone was announced on May 18 via the official social media sites for the game. They posted a picture of the Dutton Ranch set against the breathtaking scenery of Montana and captioned it with the following, It's going to happen. On November 13, you may watch the launch of Season 5 on Paramount Network. The year before, viewers were given a special treat when the first two episodes of the season were shown back to back on the same night. It has not been determined for certain whether or not the same thing will occur again on November 13. It is anticipated that the first seven episodes of part one will be broadcast on Sundays each week. Next up, who will be appearing in the upcoming fifth season of Yellowstone? The plot of season five is largely unknown at this point, but we can get some clues from the casting announcements. In June, it was announced that young John Dutton, played by Josh Lucas, young Beth Kylie Rock, Rogers and young Rip, Kyle Red Silverstein, would all be back for future episodes, suggesting that we would be treated to flashbacks from the family's history. Mo brings plenty Rainwater's right-hand man Mo, and Wendy Moniz, Governor Lionel Perry, have been promoted to the series regulars, and Jackie Weaver will resume her role as the family's business adversary, Caroline Warner. Some new faces will also be appearing this year. Don Olivieri, best known to Taylor Sheridan fans as James Dutton's sister Claire in 1883, will take on a new persona in the Yellowstone University universe as the corporate shark Sarah Atwood. Kai Caster from American Horror Story will play a young cowboy named Rowdy. Lainey Wilson from Your Honor and Rustin will play a musician. Lily Kay from Your Honor and Rustin will play as Dutton's assistant. There was previous confirmation that Jen Landon Teeter and Atherin Kelly, Emily Jimmy's new girlfriend, will be recurring cast members this year. The show's Jimmy, played by Jefferson White, is also set to return, suggesting that rumors that he would be moving to the spinoff show 6666 are likely untrue. Kevin Costner, Luke Grimes, Kelly Riley, Wes Bentley, Cole Hauser, Kelsey Asbill, Brecken Merrill, Ori Smith, Denham Richards, Ian Bowen, Finn Little, Ryan Bingham, and Gil Birmingham are among those who have been confirmed to return for Yellowstone Season 5. Moving on, what will happen in Yellowstone Season 5? Jamie Dutton murdered his biological father, Garrett Randall, in the Season 4 finale. His sister, Beth, photographed him disposing of the body incriminatingly. Season 5 will certainly continue Jamie's situation after he was caught red-handed. Meanwhile, Beth seeks a new job after being dismissed by Caroline, the new antagonist. Fans will be eager to see if she exacts her revenge on the CEO of 
market equities in the upcoming season. Casey Dutton had troubling visions and saw the end of something. Viewers are eager to learn how he interprets the visions and how they affect his fate. There is also the matter of who will succeed Sheriff Haskell following his unexpected death. Some of the cast members have already revealed details about the next episodes. Summer star Paravo hinted at a romance between her character and John Dutton. People in Entertainment Weekly stated, On Yellowstone, the love story is heating up. Many people watch it because of the cowboys and the ranch, but I watch it for the love story. We're increasing the heat. Let's turn up the heat for a second because the last few years have been brutal. In an interview with TV Line, Beth actor Kelly discussed how Beth would respond to her father sleeping with Summer. Following that, what will Jamie's role be in the Dutton family now that John and Beth own him? None of the Duttons have been subjected to any legal consequences for the lies they've taken throughout the first four seasons of the show. Therefore, it is reasonable to expect that Jamie will not face any consequences from the law for the murder of Garrett Randall, his biological father. What will Jamie's place be in the family as we advance now that Beth has blackmailed him and made him evident that she and John own him? What will happen to John when he discovers the truth about the hit against his family? Will Jamie, now that he is the state's attorney general, continue to do the bidding of his father, sister, and the Yellowstone Ranch, despite the shifting political landscape in the state? Will Jamie and Beth ever be able to patch things up? Will John and Jamie be able to patch up their differences? Moving on, how will Yellowstone newcomer Carter fit in the Dutton family moving forward? Carter is an orphan youngster who was taken in by Beth because of his similarities to Rip Wheeler. Ben Little joins the cast in season four, playing the role of Carter. On the other hand, fans have been left scratching their heads over his appearance. Given that the boy was confined to the barn for most of the season, Beth has made it quite plain to the youngster that he is not permitted to call her mama, even though he has recently moved into the log cabin owned by the Duttons. How will Carter continue to fit in with the Dutton family in the future? Will Rip and Beth be able to bring him up as their son? Will it turn out that he has to sleep in the bunkhouse? What are the writers hoping to accomplish by including his character in the series? Finally, the universe of Yellowstone is growing. In addition to the upcoming fifth season of Yellowstone, the show's creator, Taylor Sheridan, has already begun work on expanding the Yellowstone canon on Paramount+. Plus. In addition to the prequel titled 1883, which will star Faith Hill, Tim McGraw, and Sam Elliott, the streaming service has announced another Yellowstone origin narrative that will take place during the Great Depression and be titled 1932. This one will star Helen Mirren and Harrison Ford. Sheridan has also signed a contract for a spin-off project that is still in the planning stages, named 6666 and is now in production. It is planned that 6666, along with 1883 and the remainder of Sheridan's slate of nine, yes, nine, upcoming Paramount Pictures, will be made available for streaming first on Paramount+. Plus. However, a release date has not yet been determined. The storyline that was provided in conjunction with the show's debut gives the impression that it will take place in the present day. On the famed 6666 property, the actual 266,000 acre ranch that Sheridan bought, which is located in West Texas. Well, that marks the end of the video for today. We hope you enjoyed it. On your way out, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.